Even in the deepest, darkest depth of addiction, there is hope. There is hope for a brighter future. Recovery is possible. Take it from these three Ohioans, China, David, and William, who continue to shape their success stories every single day. My name is China Darrington, and I am the Director of Advocacy and Public Policy for Thrive Peer Recovery Services. My name is David Andy. I'm a substance abuse counselor here at the House of Hope. My name is William Perry. I am a social worker. I was born um, crack cocaine addicted. My family looked normal. I grew up on 180 acres of farmland. In my house, I, I saw a lot of alcoholism and I saw a lot of domestic violence and I also was a victim of that domestic violence. I used drugs as a social lubricant. It brought me a sense of belonging within a social circle. I was introduced to substances when I was 16, and uh, I took to them like a duck to water. I was seeking to be numb, and the drugs helped me achieve that. I was homeless. I was living in a shed um, on a bed bug infested mattress. The sad part for me is like, I was completely okay with that. Like that was my norm. In the beginning, the drugs worked real well and I thought I was getting everything that I wanted from them. But as time went on, they started to come with more consequences. They told me what I was gonna do, when I was gonna do it. Um, and I started to lose things. I felt like wherever I was at, it was ingrained in me to that there was something wrong with me and that everyone else could see it. All of those traumas of my childhood, all of those went somewhere. And I was carrying that big bag of rocks with me everywhere that I went. And so I had to actually go into that bag and take those rocks out one by one, take a look at them. And I had to forgive myself. So when I was in active addiction, I, there was a lot of just shame, um, a lot of guilt that I felt just because of like certain things that I had to do to certain people. I did not feel like I was human um, or like I, that I was worthy really of a, a life like worth living. I went to a trauma-informed treatment center and I didn't know what trauma was. When they kind of framed what trauma was and how I possibly was responding to it and how that was gonna factor into my treatment and ultimately my recovery, it really allowed me to say there's nothing wrong with me. There have been some things that have happened to me and I'm not a bad person, um, but I'm in a place that I don't wanna be anymore. And in the beginning, recovery was scary because I had come from a point of chaos in my life and now there's structure and order. I can count on things happening in my life. People can count on me. Once I was able to find recovery, um, you know, and actually start putting in some work, I found it very early on, and it was actually somebody that had asked me uh, kind of like what I felt that my purpose was. And it was actually like helping others. I felt like I had finally found a, a purpose in my life, you know, and I felt like a human again. I'm humbled by, by my past. I'll never forget where I came from. If I could talk to somebody who is on the verge of entering treatment, I would tell them that though the road is going to be extremely hard, turn your mess into your message. Just hold on. I started to change my life. I started to make better decisions. Little by little, the next right thing started to come easier and easier. I started to get those things that I had lost back in my life and I came together in my soul. And I realized this is the way that I want to live.